Hi, Aaron. Uh, thank you for letting me take the time out of the day for to me to interview for my Triple E project. I know it's been a long time coming. I warned you about this a while ago, but um, yeah, this is what I have to do. We need to do a little interview about myself and our relationship and whatnot. And uh, just to make it clear, Professor Weimer, Aaron is my my friend before school, my longtime best friend. We've been friends since we were two, three years old, probably starting from mommy and me. That's how both our, that's how we met and our parents met. And uh, we've been, we've been friends ever since. We've gone through mommy and me together. We've gone through pre-K together. No, no, nursery school, was that? Um, since What's community gardens, was that? Yeah, I guess like nursery school. Nursery school, school elementary school, middle school, high school, and college. We've literally done everything together. Also sports and all, all that good stuff in between. Um, literally the definition of day one. I mean, you can't get any can't get any younger than two years old, to be honest with you. And 18 years later, we're still sitting next to each other and he's helping me out for a school project like he has done in the past. So this is my longtime friend, Aaron Morrow. So again, thank you for letting me interview you. Of course, of course. So... Let, I'm going to start off with an easy question. It's a, a question I like starting off most of my interviews because, I don't know, I think it's a good like segue into, into our conversation. And I think it's a little fun fun question also. And I like to hear what you guys think. Oh, what you think, yeah. So, what would you say the, your favorite memory of us doing something together is? Hmm. It could be more than one. It could be one and whatever, whatever you want. Uh -huh. that's, that's funny how you described it as an easy question because... Just going off that whole intro you gave. Sounds like the farthest hit thing from easy, to be quite honest, given the fact that True. we really have known each other for True. so long. Too, too many memories just to put into it's one. It's crazy, like, don't even really think about it, like, too much until you actually, like, reflect on it and, and realize, like, how we've gone through, like, every step. Every step every of our lives. together. Mm -hmm. So to pinpoint, like, a specific memory... It's far from easy, at least in my opinion. <laughs> uh, but it's just some some specific things, some first things that come yeah, to my mind. Um, just maybe almost working it up the ladder, like in elementary school, always playing football after oh. class with uh, with Beckett and his dad. It seems like every single wow. day we were doing that with the Nerf, with the Nerf football. With the Nerf oh my god, you're right, dude! Almost like the first like athletic activity that we ever participated Pro in. Probably, yeah. It was every day after school, playing football, we doing the whenever you were quarterback, and we would do the the, the stop and go route where we thought oh we always had everybody beat with money. That. <laughs> you couldn't stop it. Couldn't money. Stop it. Oh my god, that is so true. The stop and go. Literally ever in a crunch, we we knew exactly what to do. Stop and go, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> the only way. Starting from elementary school. This is starting real young too. Oh my really god, young. that's so funny. I forgot about that. Really young. And I mean just thinking off the top of my head. Just going to St. John's soccer camp together every single summer. And that hot days spent on that turf. Oh my God. Really long days. And then roasting. And then my mom always driving us home in her Toyota Highlander. Right. Sitting in the back seat. All like See? seven of us piled into the car. Seriously. Your sister, my siblings. Right. Ellie Goldberg. Oh my God. She came. Michael Reddy came. Michael over. Reddy. Justin came for, yeah. for a while too. You know what that reminds me of too? Uh, going on favorite memories of us doing stuff, the high game. What is that? The waving game. Oh, yeah. That was what we did that in the car. Yes. That's, what, that's, that's what literally what I was about to get at. Get oh, at. you were going to say that's that? That's what I was going to say. <laughs> literally, like, in those cars trying to wave at random people and get, get them to acknowledge us was just, like... <laughs> I literally we went crazy about over that. that. We did go crazy <laughs> over that. Anytime we get a reaction, it was like the coolest thing I in think the world. We drove my mom crazy. Oh too, yeah, too. I remember that at a certain point, your mom was just like, "Yeah, we're done with this." Maybe <laughs> yeah. I was at a certain age or something, but like, <laughs> no. oh, that's so funny. Yeah, you're right. Seriously, and then even working out from that. Soccer practices after school, pretty much Ernest. every day with Ernest. And then Ernest with high school with John riding. Oh definitely my god! Definitely had some some character coaches. Oh, we definitely did. Oh my god! And some John riding, and don't forget Ian. 
his son. Uh, yeah. And don't worry. <laughs> the only person that's going to hear this is my is my teacher. <laughs> so it'll never get back to John and Ian. John was a big fan of you, though. John, John was a big John fan loved of you. Me. Yeah, that is that is a good point. He loved you too. We, I mean, we yeah, uh, just to make I mean, it clear, we were, we were both captains, uh, Professor Weimer. But yeah, but he did. Oh well, I guess the year when Ian was still there, it was me and Ian. And then when he left, it was me and you. But still, no, I thought it was Ian and uh, Amir. Oh, it was Ian and yeah, Amir. Yeah. I thought it was Ian and me. No. Oh, sorry. Maybe my memory is <laughs> a little skewed. Maybe building himself up a true. Yeah, like maybe, maybe a little bit. But regardless, <laughs> no, when they were all gone, it was me and Aaron no, captaining our. No, he definitely loved you, though. I remember that. God, John. You know, I still get his uh, Facebook updates. Really? Like every every other day, it's so like John writing and said something <laughs> in BSG. <laughs> I mean, I don't look at it because I don't care, but, yeah, like, right. still. He's but, still out there. Go oh, he's, he's still out there. Good for him is right, honestly. Four years, almost four years later, still coaching. Yep. He's been, so that means he's been doing it for six years. I mean, the 11th grade we started. Or no, no, 10th. No, no, 11th grade we 11th started. 11th grade, yeah. Yeah. That would suck. I wish we could have done it, like, earlier, but. Yeah, I know. That's what it is. We would have won that championship in the. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Grade? Oh, no, no doubt. Uh, no doubt. We, we were so much better than every other team. Lost one game, and that was the first game of the year. Because Max Fishman never played soccer and doesn't was know he that. Oh, he, he had a handball. And then right. right when he had the handball, he like froze and almost admitted to the ref. Like, oh, oh my ref. god, that's That right. was a handball on was me. Was that it's in like, flushing? I feel like it was that was in flushing. In, okay, yeah. I was on It was on the two fields that yes. were parallel on the other side of the highway. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. And literally... I told him afterwards, I'm like, Max, Never do. if you touch the ball with your hand, you don't act like you touch the ball with your hand. You keep on playing until Noobs. you get that whistle. Oh my God. And it was, yeah. That was a good year, though. That was a good year. The always, always corner kicks. Whenever I got to take the corner kicks, there was only one person I was in <laughs> before, and that was you. <laughs> trying to get that ball into your to your head to the back of the goal. Definitely. We knew that. That was definitely every God. single time. Yeah, because nobody else could do that. Even on, on Omega, too. Oh, yeah. Easily on Omega. <laughs> oh. Both. God, some, all right, some good times, dude. We had, a, we had a good soccer career. Yeah. Long soccer career. Seriously. God. A little sad that it's over now. I, I mean... That, yeah, definitely. Looking back on it, yeah. it's definitely sad. Might have done a few things differently, too, in oh. hindsight. But... Oh, yeah, I think... I think looking back on it now, I think we shouldn't have I played think, for Omega. I think both of us could have been playing in college. Oh, at least D2. Yeah. At least D2. I think if we, if we if didn't we do didn't. Omega and all that yep. BS we stayed mm-hmm. with for all those years, if, like, what do we know, you know? Yeah. If we joined... Like, Gachi. Yep. If we joined Gachi, yep. we, would have, we would have been playing, I think. Because then Gachi at least could have taken us to other teams. That's too. true. But listen, if we would have done that... We might have went to different colleges. Most definitely. And we wouldn't be sitting yeah. here doing no. this, this right now. Yeah. So you know no. what? I'm, I'm okay. It all works out. It I'm all okay. Works out. Yeah, exactly. I'm okay with how, how everything worked out. I agree. Um, yeah, any any other any other things? I mean, like, you can just, I mean, whenever you sit, think of something, I mean, just say it. Literally, when I was interviewing Mark, like, 10 minutes in, he'd be like, oh, I have another memory. And I was, <laughs> I was like, go for it, dude. And like, oh, here's some other thing I, about you. I was, whatever, whatever. Yeah, it sounds say. good. I'll, I'll, I'll keep on thinking. Okay, so continuing on, what what do you think, I mean, as the person that, that's known me the longest, obviously, you're, you know me the best. So what what would you say my biggest strength is? And then I'm gonna follow up that question with what my biggest weakness is. So, what um, okay. what do you think? Um, I would say your biggest strength probably would just be like your 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 social communication skills and your ability to to connect with other people on a on like a natural and and genuine level. I feel like it pretty pretty easy for you to do and you get along with people it is pretty well, easy yeah for which, me which is definitely a, a good strength just in terms of life to be able to get along with people well and be able to actually like build connections with people relationships and, and stuff. relationships to help you get further to where you actually want to end up is definitely a very important skill to have and i think you definitely have that skill so and that's something that can no doubt help you in the future being able to you think it works well with me being in the business school and yada yada? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Works well in any, any industry at yeah, I true. Feel like, yeah, you definitely, right. definitely, especially business. Like, 
even more. It's exacerbated in, yeah. in business where you're not only working with the people in your company, you're working with, I don't know, everybody, outside yeah. everybody. Yeah. yeah. It's really all predicated on communication, your ability to work with others. And I think that's definitely a, a strong strength of yours. Mm -hmm. Weakness? Um, <laughs> and, and also, how you think I can overcome it? Mm hmm and you can be candid to them. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm not trying to I'm, I'm be candid with all this. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, just the, the first thing that came to my mind was maybe uh, your persistence on some things. I feel like sometimes you get, like, incredibly passionate about a certain thing for a period of, like, yeah. I know two exactly months, what you're say. and then it, like, kind of, dissipates dissipates and goes on to something else yeah like just the thing that i thought of was the whole wordplay yep i knew he uh -huh. see how well i know him professor weimer i know exactly what he's gonna say before he's even saying it yep continue because you know like you were ambitious in starting that company which i think your ambition is another one of your strengths the fact that you you do have uh these these achievements or goals that you want to set for yourself but at the same time i think um it's my weakness because i don't follow through you with it. yeah you you're not persistent enough with these things you need to be i feel like you you could set more goals for yourself in terms yeah. of like when you when you created wordplay of your fashion urban fashion company mm -hmm. however you want to describe it and at first like I mean, obviously there's going to be struggles with any company that a college kid tries to make out of his dorm room in mm -hmm. sophomore year. True. Um, and it's never going to come easy. And I think that when you, like, made the adjustment to try to add some of your Supreme stuff on it and, like, True, yeah. go towards the consignment direction, I think that was a good idea. And I think that was the way that you were going to be able to grow the brand more because mm -hmm. that would at least bring in initial company customers more so than just some some random clothing yeah, yeah. that nobody really knows of yeah yeah when uh, while well, supreme is known throughout yeah, the world yeah, yeah and that can bring you some customers so i thought you were on the right track when you did that but it kind of just like kind well, of the, just stopped the, and so the scam I know, I know. I was thinking of that, but then at the same time, it like, shouldn't have stopped me. It like, shouldn't have stopped me the way it did. I mean, it's it's about how you respond to those failures, of course, failures yeah. you know. And I think yeah. in that instance, you didn't respond as well as you could have yeah, because definitely. you kind of you kind of gave up on it a little I bit. I did. I did. Like, I don't um, want to say I gave up on it. I just want to say it's on pause because my mom, like when I was in interviewing my mom, she said like pretty much the same thing. What's so. it on pause for? like building funds back i guess like it was like eight hundred dollars that like i i know it was a, it was a lot with I mean, like but... i was working with like two grand overall and like it was just a big hit but do, do you still have like those shirts i do have the shirts that's why I'm, I'm not gonna like throw them out or anything it's just when i like revamp it up and you know so you think you're gonna go back to it yeah i think I'll, and i think i'm gonna do it the same route like like, I don't know when I'm going to go to it. Maybe after I, you know, graduate or after next semester, I have a little more time and I won't be like, you know, distracted with so many things here. I think I'll go back to it with Supreme being the big angle to like get people in the door. I'll probably do it as a, as a consignment shop, as my own consignment mm -hmm. shop. And, um, and then have like word, like the name will be wordplay and then I'll also sell um, you know, my merch along with it versus where I wanted to start off with my own like line. Yeah. I think next time when I start it up again, I'm going to go full into like consignment and then have it like as an extra thing. You I, know? I definitely think that's a good idea. I think that's, that's a more solid approach. That's yeah. Business terms. Yeah. But, um, it's really hard to make something out of, you know, yeah, nothing. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. But that's, that's what comes back to like the persistence. The persistence that I'm yeah. Trying to, like, I agree. Like take on like, I mean. No, I com I completely agree with you. So that's that's my thing. I think maybe maybe be a little bit more. Just a more more through. driven yeah. with the, like, it's kind of it's kind of a little complicated because I think you're ambitious, which is a strength. But at the same time, you're not quite driven enough with those ambitions that you have. 
Like, yeah. I'd say you have the ambition. It's the follow-through that you need yeah. to work on a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I do. So, that would be my answer to those questions. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, definitely food for thought, because after these, I have... Probably gonna, I'm probably going to listen through them again and I have to do a whole reflection on it. Again, this is a mm-hmm. project I saw myself. And, like, like you're not the first person to have said that. So, obviously, I mean, it was you. I mean, it was you all the people that are close to me said that. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, clearly that's been a theme throughout these mm-hmm. interviews. So, it's something that I, I'm, you know, I need to take a heart, take to heart and, you know, rearrange it. Yeah. And the thing is, like... In order to succeed. Because, mm-hmm. like, I don't know. I mean, you know I'm a sensitive guy, so, like, I don't want to fail. And, like, essentially, well, I failed. I think uh, that's a, a failing mindset. Being True. afraid you're right. to fail is... You're right. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. No, you're right. You're right. I shouldn't. And, it, and I, I, like, gotta, I gotta adjust that for sure. Yeah. Like, I mean... I'm not, <laughs> I'm not somebody that has a, a history in creating successful businesses, obviously. But, like, you look at people that have, and, like, they do preach similar messages for the most part in which yeah. like you really you're gonna fail yeah like, you're right you, not, i know not everything's gonna go your way and honestly i don't know more things probably won't go your way than do but you just gotta i know keep on overcoming those hills until that one thing does go your way i know and if i didn't want to do that then i shouldn't have picked entrepreneurship That's yeah my major. exactly i don't know very true but um no, I mean, I'm working on it. I mean, it has to get better. There's no other option. It's either that or I am going to fail. And that's just that I'm not going to do. Yeah. I and mean, I can't do. And then I mean, then, go ahead, sorry. I mean, we just, you, me, Justin, all our lives, we're going to make a ton of money. <laughs> we're going to get so rich by our own islands and have houses on the same island all next to each other. I mean, like, you're right. I can't have a mindset like, like, like a loser. Mm-hmm. You know, we got to think like winners. Yeah. And I need to start changing. I need to start uh, adjusting my mindset like that. Yeah. You're right. And then, I don't know, just going off of that from just this conversation that we're having, how you're saying how, like, you were planning on going back to wordplay, which I was unaware of. And then the fact that, like, you're waiting until you graduate or until you get more funds, which I don't know what you would, what you, your plans are for those funds, but it's like, Uh, why wait wait? also at the same time? Because you have time now, like... In college, realistically, like That's true, I how much time are you spending outside of actual schoolwork? Like a yeah, lot. Right. Like you would have the potential time to do it. So I feel like time is not an issue. It's more so the willingness. Drive. Yeah. yeah. And like right. you I gotta can, stop making excuses. You can bring up funds as an excuse, but like I don't, I don't know what your thoughts of are, but like in terms of what you need the funds for, which obviously you need money to build a company, but. Yeah, you have right. some inventory. Yeah, you're right. I think I think the drive is more of the question. Yeah, you're right. I gotta. You're right. You're absolutely right. I mean, there's just no way. <laughs> there's no way. I'm just done. I can't make any excuses. That's really what it is. Um, so you're right. So actually, it's funny you say that. Well, not really funny, but like interesting you say that because, going leading into my next question is. Uh, so do you think my personality has changed over the years? Like, high school, do you think it was different than now? Or or do you think, like, some things have stayed the same? Or um, Yeah, I think I think some things have, have changed, definitely. Um, I think, I mean, in terms of, of socially, I feel like you've remained stayed the, the same. same. Because, like, I don't know, you are always a social kid back in high school, too. Like, that was never really something that you necessarily needed to work on um but i do think like you've you've started to build more so of an idea of where you want to like head in life and like your yeah your bigger picture type things and how you want to how you know you want to like pursue something on your own almost and not like fall into like a typical Nine to five. Nine to five yeah. corporation job. Yeah. Which is something that I don't know if you had that idea back in high school or if you had like the actual mentality that you wanted to do that. No, nah, probably. Um, it was probably when I, uh, when I, when I, uh, fractured my ankle and when I couldn't play soccer. And that's when I got into Supreme. And I mm-hmm. think that's when. Yeah. That was the whole mindset change. I mean, me, yeah. come no, on. I mean, fair. before we, 
I mean, at least I thought I was going to be playing soccer in college, you know? I mean, like, that was the that was the goal wherever it ended up. And I think once it was, like, a smack in the face where it was, like, reality was, like, yeah, that's not going to happen anymore. Yeah. I mean, like, I couldn't have broke my – or twist, mm-hmm. twisted whatever my ankle at any perfect timing, mm-hmm. prime scouting season for all of us. And I think that's when I was just, like, yeah, if I'm not going to be a soccer player, I'm – going to want to do something by myself and not work for anybody because yeah. I just I mean you know me I can't you, can you picture me sitting in an office <laughs> on a computer 9 to 5 isolated yeah. by myself no I might jump off a bridge dude <laughs> that's just I just cannot do that that'd be crazy yeah all day every day so yeah it's interesting you say that yeah. yeah so that way I've definitely seen like that just that entrepreneurial spirit kind of has grown inside you more like yeah. how the, that whole it's probably like, that's exactly when it happened yeah you're right and ambition almost like the the idea that you know that's like that's like what you want to do and then the next question is like okay like what is that gonna manifest yeah. into exactly you know yeah but i agree that's a tough question to answer it is yeah, yeah <laughs> i know it is yeah i know some of these aren't the easiest things but like again it's like project on all it's like self-reflection and stuff like that mm-hmm. so these you know these are the types of questions that come along with it um, so going off that, so you think my core values have stayed the same? Like, or maybe, nah, I guess maybe change up to what you're saying about the entrepreneurial spirit and stuff. So, but what do you think? Um, in terms of core values, um, so when I think of core values... What do you think? The first thing that, thing that I think of is just, like, how, um, you want to be, like, genuinely... A good person and yes wanna correct look that's out what i for, think too not only for like well not for your, only yourself because that kind of comes with being a good person but looking out for others and trying to surround yourself with other good people and bring mm-hmm. out the best in others mm-hmm. um so that that's definitely the at least in my opinion what i can see as one of your strongest core values no or i agree your or the strongest core value uh-huh. that you you have is is really predicated around being a good person with good intentions and actually seeing like the best out of people, Mm -hmm. which is definitely something I admire because me as an individual, I'm definitely not as much, uh, not as, as driven or filled with those, with those thoughts in which, you know, Mm -hmm. everyone, you can see the best in everyone and like really, like you just filled with more so positivity. Yeah, that's interesting. So, that's interesting you say that. But like, keep going. But yeah, that's that's definitely one of your core values that I admire because I definitely can see that. Like like looking at you, I could use a little bit more optimism oh, in my life sometimes probably. because you know I feel like that's why you got me. Don't. Worry. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's good to like to to use it as a reflection on myself and how I can improve. In terms of trying to trying to think a little bit more holistically and yeah. like about the the greater purpose and how like yeah. what's really important and trying to be like genuinely live my life mm-hmm. with good intentions. Yeah. You know? So it's funny, funny you say that. Um, well, again, funny, interesting <laughs> you say that because um, I was telling you a little bit about um, the social assessments and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, we already hit way past the 20 mark so like <laughs> okay like this i haven't had a uh, interview like this where it's just gone so smooth that oh, really like look i did this is this is the biggest chunk of it i told oh, you really yeah this oh. is this <laughs> is it we just skipped all that or we don't even but i'm still gonna do you let me know when yeah yeah no i'm still gonna do this anyway because I, I find it i still find it interesting but like there are four categories of um of social styles and for the interviews i have to uh my own social style and I, and I, we have and I have, I have to give you a social style mm-hmm. um and I and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them and I want to know your opinions on it like where you fit, think you are where you think I am blah 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 okay, so basically good. the the four the four main um gr- uh categories if you will for lack of a better word are drivers analyticals um amiables and expressives and so Drivers are business like results oriented, they give results over pleasing people, strong opinions and convictions, 
Um, we have analyticals who are detail oriented. They display preference for order. Uh, they let others take the social initiative. They're conservative, practical, and impractical in decision making. And then we have our amiables who are, they appear to be quiet and reserved. They're friendly listeners. They uh, require extensive data to make decisions. They're concerned about collaboration and reaching agreement. They like, they like personal ties before go goals. And then we have our expressives who are energetic, direct and open, fast paced. They engage freely in conversation and they take risks in making decisions. So based off those, where, where do you think you would put yourself and where do you think you would put me and thoughts so I'm, I'm glad you you read that last one I'm glad that expressives is an option because at least when you're first going through it I was just thinking about it in terms of which category do you fit in with most mm -hmm. and reading the the qualities of the other three I, I found specific bullet points but definitely not some some overarching consensus like oh yeah that's you but mm -hmm. when you read expressives i definitely think without a doubt that's the that's the category that you you fit in with i can just reading over these bullet points yeah. one more time i definitely think all of those apply to you and they yeah. definitely apply very convincingly to you you're yeah. definitely so, energetic you're direct yeah, yeah you're comfortable in social situations freely and co friendly conversation like, <laughs> yeah, yeah literally definitely. all of them no doubt like that's that's definitely the one i'm putting you in okay so i had to take my social assessment and i ended up getting amiable and like my other interviews and like my my teacher will read in my uh reflections wasn't too happy about that <laughs> um because i agree and my mom has said it um mark even mark said it like like several people have said that they expressives is what they would categorize me as mm -hmm. and i just find it so interesting that like i took this test and like where it says i'm supposed to be i mean again i know it's not all 100 percent, but like yeah. but like if it wasn't then why wasn't i i get i guess because it's not 100 percent. but i was yeah. still surprised that i got amiable because like the first thing about amiable is be quiet and reserved and that's just mm -hmm. the opposite of what i am like literally the opposite of who i am <laughs> So I just, I, f I find it interesting that there also is a, a consistent theme of what um, people think, uh, what people would categorize me as. And going yeah. to what you think you are, what would you say? Um, let me look through these one more time. It's okay. Um, see, with you, I think there was... For myself, uh, <laughs> for you in my mind, it was oh. very clear which one you were in. Mm -hmm. I I, th I didn't really have to think much about it once I saw expressives. Mm -hmm. For me, at least in my mind, so it's not that. it's not as clear between which one I think I fall into personally. So I, so I see you going back to driver and analytics. So I'm assuming you'd say a little, you'd be a little bit of both. <laughs> yeah, I definitely say I, I have qualities of both. I don't. It's hard to say. You which, don't have to. You don't have to put which one to more. It's it's okay because like the the main thing about it is is because of the the opposite social styles. So like uh -huh. the two you're looking at are the opposite, especially driver, and the opposite of amiable. And so like, I guess in theory, we're not really supposed to be friends if you will or <laughs> as close as as we are and have been for the last 18 uh -huh. years because of how um because of how what they wh whoever came up with this and they, they what they said are supposed they're opposite things and and whatnot and so and what my teacher is telling us is that when you're with certain friends like you she says you flex which is like you um you become another social style so like i'll flex different. into the yeah i'll flex I mean. and do these tri yeah uh -huh. Be no because uh, because we're different and we hang out that i flex into like a different uh -oh. like something that's okay. real more uh -oh. to you yeah yeah and i just don't think that's really the case no because yeah i definitely think that we have pretty some pretty clear differences in personality at least I oh feel yeah like we're personality wise I mean, yeah, two that's, different people. That's so honestly, yeah. I mean, everybody knows this too. I mean, yeah. Yeah. so what? What do you think has um, might be throwing you a curveball here? But what do you think has contributed to the fact 
that we've maintained such a strong friendship this whole this whole entire our whole entire lives what am i saying mm-hmm. literally our whole entire lives like and again i know it's just a little test yeah. and like it's not like it doesn't really like it's not set in stone like it's not like god's word whatever we're reading but like it's just interesting to think about like what, what do you think is you know contributed to that fact of how we're two completely different people but like yet um we're how one. We, yeah yeah you know well i guess just despite the the differences that we have in terms of just our core personalities which mm-hmm. there are definitely some differences yeah. between the two which we've isn't had, which isn't a bad thing. No, no, I'm not saying it as if it's a bad no, thing. I'm just making it clear. Okay, yeah, yeah, Professor yeah. Weimer. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we've had very similar experiences, at least. You know that's so true. We've come up the same way. Like that's I mean, a good point. We really have had pretty pretty similar life paths pretty much as similar as as it can get, as it can get think. without being as directly related yeah, to each other yeah exactly. that's a very good point because so. we've literally done i mean just to put it in a little more perspective professor weimer Aaron and i in, ele- in elementary school <laughs> we were in every single class yeah. together i mean that wasn't it wasn't coincidental i mean our parents yeah, made it that way no <laughs> our parents because yeah. they're both on the pa so it was it, they made it that way but like but like still we were we did every single thing together pretty much and so i think i think you're right that does that definitely does yeah. contribute so I think the the similarities in experiences yeah. maybe makes up a little bit more for the uh, the diversity in in terms of personality and yeah amiable versus driver ah uh, expressive no I'm just playing I'm just playing I'm just kidding oh sorry I'm just, I'm just kidding right. that's what they gave me and but yeah, what they gave e- you. yeah that's what either I either way you said you're a little analytical so expressive and, and expressive so, and analytical yeah so both either way whichever one we are we're still the op it would still come out to be the opposite you know, you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah so but yeah I agree all right well I appreciate you letting me take 32 minutes out of your time <laughs> this is my longest interview and this was this really helped so thank you I appreciate it of course it. anytime